there's so much for us to be grateful for as we come into this Christmas season. This parish is an exceptionally generous place. Family after family who've had struggles or tragedies, as well as some of their hopes and aspirations, consistently report that friends and neighbors, folks associated with church, and also folks who are just from the local community, reach out and help. Whether it's making meals, or watching children, or helping transport relatives and friends, your generosity, well, legendary is maybe too strong a word, but certainly appreciated, and people have come to associate this kind of generosity, neighborliness, friends helping friends, as a hallmark of this parish. In specific, during the Advent season and throughout the fall, we asked a great deal of generous support for organizations associated with the parish. Of course, at Christmas time, we all look forward to the angel tree, and many of you, either through tags or through Sign Up Genius, were able to answer the call to specific gifts for specific families and children. That is so much appreciated, especially appreciated those folks who organize the angel tree, and those who help make deliveries. We associate the angel tree here at the parish with local organizations that throughout the year help families, and so we're well aware of many who are in need and many who appreciate so much what we are able to do for them. In addition to the Angel Tree, your support of the Respect Life efforts, both through the envelope we provide and through Baby Bottle Boomerang that helps us to fund programs that you'll hear about are coming to the parish in the winter and the spring. I'm going to ask you to watch for those Respect Life efforts. You make them possible through your generous offerings. Of course, the three larger programs that we had warrant some mention. We collected diapers, wipes, and other materials for moms who've had kids recently. It's important as a pro-life parish, and this parish certainly has a strong history of supporting the dignity of all human life from conception to natural death. As a pro-life parish, we help families after the child is born and sometimes well into the life of that child and supporting the overall well-being of a family. The people at the Chester County Women's Services in Coatesville were astounded at your generosity. Hundreds and hundreds of boxes of diapers and wipes. They'd never seen a collection like it. In the past, we've helped the birthright group in Coatesville, and we'll continue to do that both financially and through material support as they express their needs to us. We help the veterans at the medical center in Coatesville with a great deal of support with basic necessities, toiletries, underwear, socks. They had never seen such a collection from one organization, and so they think it was about $10,000 worth of gifts that you gave. So much appreciated. And every year now it's become our custom to have a winter coat drive for the folks at the Honeybrook Food Pantry. They too know their families. They know the needs and the coats that you gave. And we filled the trailer with coats, that food trailer that we fill every month. Speaking of the food trailer, we had a record giving again, over 3,600 pounds. During COVID, when the church wasn't even open, we had 2,000 pounds of food one Sunday. We'd never done anything quite like that, and yet the most recent collection had 3,600 pounds of food. Amazing. I know, too, that those young people with cancer that were helped by the Cure for CAM effort, where our young people here in the parish, as well as many parishioners at home and here, made blankets for kids with cancer. Thank you, thank you for your generosity the gifts you give, just your basic goodness in seeing a need and responding to it. God is watching, and he will continue to bless all of us in this new year.